Hello and welcome to RetroBreeze. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use cheats on your Miu Mini. This should work for pretty much any emulated retro game, and the method for activating the cheats is the same for every game and console. It's really convenient and easy, and once set up, it lets you do stuff like this. So if you want to speed through a JRPG or bullet curtain your enemies, this is the video for you. Alrighty, let's get to it. This tutorial expects that you're on Onion OS. I recommend being on at least version 4, but I'm almost certain it'll work the same on previous versions too. First, browse to the link in the description, which will take you to the libretro database. Click on code, then download zip. Extract the downloaded file, then open the CHT folder. Inside, there are a bunch of folders for different game consoles and inside each folder is a large collection of .cht files, which contain the cheat codes for each game. Now there are a few different ways to proceed from here. The entire folder is only around 89 megabytes or so, so you could copy the entire folder over if you have room. You can also copy over just the folders for the systems that you're interested in. Or finally, you could just copy the individual cheat files for each game you want to use cheats on. Insert your Miu Mini SD card into the PC, then open the RetroArch folder, then the .retroarch folder, then the cheats folder. You may need to enable the hidden file setting if you don't see the .retroarch folder because it's a hidden folder. Now you can copy over all the folders or files you want from the database into the cheats folder. It can take quite a while depending on the number of files. When you're ready, go back so that you're in the .retroarch folder, then open the file called retroarch.cfg. Hit Ctrl F or Command F on Mac and search for cheats. You'll eventually find an entry in the list called quick menu show cheats change false to true, bearing in mind the quotation marks, and then save the file. Reinsert your SD card and power on your mini. Launch whichever game you like, then bring up the RetroArch menu by holding menu and pressing select. You'll find an option named cheats. Go ahead and select it. At this point, I recommend enabling apply after toggle and auto apply cheats during game load if you want that. Go back, then select overrides and choose save core overrides. This will make it quicker to add cheats to this system later. For now, go back to cheats and then select load cheat file replace. You'll now see for the files and folders you placed in the cheats folder before. Simply browse through the list and find the file for your game. You might notice that there are a ton of files in here, which is why you may prefer to copy over only the cheat files you actually want, instead of the full database like I did. After selecting the file, your cheats will be appended to this menu. Simply scroll the list and use the right d-pad button to toggle the cheat on or off. If you want, you can press A to open the cheat and edit it in various ways, but I'm not going to cover that here. Just know that you can actually delete that individual cheat from this menu as well. Once you've enabled everything you want to, you'll need to go back to the main menu, then to Overrides, and choose Save Game Overrides to save any cheats and settings. They should be activated as soon as you go back to the game. However, it can cause some instability turning on cheats like this, so don't be surprised if it crashes first. Just launch back into the game if you need to. Your cheats should work right away. And if they don't, just try a different cheat file from the list. Just use the load cheat file replace option again to replace all the cheats you already added. Note that Game Genie and Action Replay, Code Breaker, all those type of cheats work. So what you can also do is to take one of the .cht files, find your own cheat codes for the game and build your own file. I feel like that's a little bit out of scope for this video, but if it's something you're interested in, let me know and I'll show you how to make those in a further video. And that's pretty much it. I've actually always enjoyed revisiting old games with cheats for a new way to play, um, or sometimes just a revenge run Shinobi 3 for all the pain it caused me as a child. Anyway, I hope this video helped you, and if it did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you're playing on your Miu Mini right now, and of course if you know any crazy cheats, uh, these Soul Blade ones are pretty wonky to be honest, but they're fun to watch. And that's all for today, thank you very much for watching Retro Breeze, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.